Oh no, I got the giggles. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Stop. <sighs> it's like at school when you're not loud. <laughs> okay. You're loud, giggle. Hmm. Like you old, no? <laughs> no, I don't. Proper noise. That's it. Maybe you're not, naughty giggles. <laughs> no! <laughs>I'm Nicole and welcome to That's The Tea. Now we have some of our regulars back. Yeah. Aww, <laughs> my heart feels warm. Happy You're all smiling really strangely. <laughs> Happy New Year. Happy I feel New like year. it's a bit too late yeah, to carry on saying that. That's what you said when you walked through yeah, the door. But personally, it is. Let it go, monkey. It's still January. Yeah, it is. Uh, so <laughs> we are here with Dulwich Hamlet footballer and DJ Monkey. West Ham midfielder Julia Simic and sport broadcaster <laughs> for Dumo. I can never take you seriously when you do right. that every time. Yeah, you're always laughing, right? I know. You should yeah. do like this maybe when she. Wow. I think I'll get some stick for that. All right. Wiki, 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 wiki. What? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, Julia, we're going to start with you. It's so nice to see you back because yeah, you've been you. out for a long time yeah. with your injury. What's it been like being back? Yeah, now really buzzing. So I made the first game uh, end of December, mid of December or something, and it was a little bit unexpected because. Mm. My, my coach obviously just put me in his office and said, hey, I think you're ready to play now because I trained a little bit like four or five weeks, but not regular because I always had a little bit pain still. Mm. And I was, don't know, I had a friend, I told him like, hey, I think I can't do this not for any longer because I'm at a point where I don't really believe in this anymore. And this gave me a little boost when Matt, like my coach just said, I think you can play now. And then this brought so much motivation back that I, yes, uh, continued with my rehab and everything. And now I'm back playing and fully training and yeah. It must have been quite emotional, right? Yeah. Getting back on the pitch. Yeah. Cause it's been a, a long time. Yeah, 12 it? months now. So it was really 12 months, I think, when I made my comeback. And now it was emotional for a lot of people. Like even my coach had a really emotional I saw a, a, a yeah. post-match interview with yeah. him. He, was, he had tears in his eyes as well when he told me, hey, I think you're ready now and you have to believe in yourself before anyone else mm -hmm. does it. Because I was at a point where I said, like, I don't know if I can do it for longer and then he said look I, I believe in you and you have to start to believe in yourself now as well and then don't know he's an emotional coach anyway and don't know it just feels good also for all the people who trusted in me for such a long time to be able to play again and that it also worked out because otherwise it would be a little bit of a don't know a time waster for everyone yeah. yeah but with a serious injury like that as a player I mean you must worry about your career and your future in the game right yeah especially my age you know yeah and when you don't know I always said like with 30 I'm at a point where I can easily say that that was it I played 15 years now on a professional level and at one time maybe you have just enough but I still don't know when this point comes but it's still not there you know yeah I, I still don't feel like I can just leave football and be happy because I Obviously, with our win yesterday or with the game yesterday, so many emotions, you know that that's just worth it for these games when you turn a game around and the whole team is celebrating together. And for these little moments, I think it's worth it to go through such a long process of mm. frustration as well. So, yeah, it was, yeah, it, I don't know when this point ever comes. I would, if I have a uh, contract now in front of me for five more years, I would directly sign it because yeah. I think I could play forever, you know. But obviously yeah, I'm at the age where I have to obviously worry about my future as well because I don't have the best knee anymore. Mm. And I know the time is limited now, so I try to just enjoy every single minute of training and playing. And yeah, let's see how what happens after the season. But I was yeah worried a lot of, about my future. Have you set yourself goals or are you just kind of taking each day as it comes now? Um, yeah, I get asked this a lot because no, my only goal is to stay healthy and to be able to play and help the team. This really, I enjoy this so much. I think more than ever, mm. I enjoy football right now because just don't know when you are at the point where you think that was it. I probably never play again mm -hmm. on, on this level at least. Um, you're so happy and appreciate every second or every minute on this pitch and on like with a ball on your feet. So I, I don't really have like. Yeah, personal goals in terms of winning something or have a title or something or get player of the match yeah, or something. Yeah. I just see Alicia's um, <laughs> titles now, but it's just nice to be there and play football, yeah. Well, speaking of Alicia, I mean, she got two goals on the weekend. Yeah. Play she's, of the match. Yeah, she's, of course, <laughs> your teammate, yeah. your housemate yes. at Laguna. Is that yeah, what you call right. your house? Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Still waiting Laguna. for my invite. <laughs> <laughs> got lost in the post. Um, have you decided 
what celebration you're going to go for when you score. Um, yeah. Because um, I've given you a few, you know, tips. I know, we had this and everything, right? I know, but it's like, I thought about this too, and with right. everyone we always speak before a game, hey, let's celebrate <laughs> like this. And when you score, I think Alicia is the only one who sticks to her celebration. Mm -hmm. She's sliding on her knees and doing the hammer. <laughs> She's just really celebrating it. But I always get so emotional when we score, and also when I score, like earlier, like years ago when I scored, you know? <laughs> And I just always try to jump on someone because I don't know where <laughs> else to go with my emotions, you know. I just love the huddles. But I like to see, like, men's games, I think they're always, like, they're so creative with Oh, they really think right? about yeah. it. And in, mm. in women's game, I think there's oh, rarely you see someone really celebrating alone or something. They just come together, everyone, and huddle and mm. cuddle and everything. But I don't know, I'm the same. I'm just need to get my emotions You out, just yeah. did some arm movements. Is that a hint of the celebration <laughs> you're going know, maybe. for? Like know. a little... I just get warm a little bit. Yeah, no, I'm just there for this. No? Okay. No, maybe not. A little woo! I can't slide on my knees as well, so I don't know. Maybe you really want to get like the team. <laughs> yeah, you really want to get the casual yeah. little... Yeah. Uh, I was going to say, does the knee slide not just kill you? Well, you've seen those videos when like people try and do it and then oh. they just go straight and they oh. yeah. 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 And, and this like, hurts. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. That'd be me. Yeah. <laughs> I might practice it. Well. I'm joining, I'm joining the Copper 90 <laughs> football yeah. team. Have you decided? Tell you. Goalie? I might, yeah, I might become the goalkeeper. I'm still trying out which <laughs> position I'll be good in. Anyway, <laughs> let's do a quick FAWSL roundup. So Birmingham nil, Manchester City two. Man United 3, Spurs 0, Everton 3, Reading 1 with a Chloe Kelly hat-trick. West Ham 2, Brighton 1. Whee! Whee. We're not biased on this <laughs> show. Uh, Bristol 0, Liverpool 1 and Arsenal 1, Chelsea 4. Chelsea Whee. 4. <laughs> Monkey. No. no. Wait, why are you happy? You know, You're a United know, fan for too no, long. I'm, I'm like a fan of the WSL as a whole. I like players that I... So I've met quite a few of the Chelsea players. So I just yeah. myself. <laughs> <laughs> so like West Ham and like Reading, I just... I just want anyone yeah. I to win. So I haven't had the luxury of like chilling with Arsenal players, but maybe when I have and then they're nice girls. Some type of way for them, I'll be like, no, I just think like Arsenal just need to be humbled a bit. Like, you know, out here defeating people 5 0, 6 0. They need a little bit of taste of their own medicine. I think that's what it was. Had it been anyone else, I would have still been cool with oh. it. I just wanted them to be just a bit humbled. All that's right, cool. well, let's talk about the game. Yeah. <laughs> so it was, of course, at Borehamwood and it was sold out, which was yeah. awesome, but I couldn't get a ticket. So, you know, I'm not angry, I'm disappointed. I want, do you know what? I was quite angry because it sold out very quickly, which is obviously a good thing. And yeah. we speak about it all the time on the show about mm. attendances and everything. But, you know, when you want to go to the game, it's quite upsetting. Monkey, you were there, weren't you? Yeah, I was there. It was my first game at Boreham Wood as well. Okay. So it was like quite a big game to go to. Massive. And Did you think it ram. would be so one-sided, though? So Chelsea scored three goals in 20 mm. minutes. No, mate. I was... I was so surprised by the first 20 minutes. It's almost like Arsenal were asleep or they couldn't yeah. get into the game. And I think Chelsea did a really good job of like keeping the middle really compact. Mm -hmm. yeah. And Arsenal struggled to get the ball out wide. And when they did, by the time they did it, Chelsea were already set up to defend. So it was so strange. I was like, it, was like, it wasn't like the Arsenal you kind yeah. of used, you're used to seeing, but like credit where credit's due. They're a super confident team at the moment, Chelsea. When Beth yeah, England's yeah. cutting in on her weak foot and oh, so putting good. in a goal in the first 10 minutes. Yeah. And then, like, to, to be honest, Sam Kerr's first goal, when they put that cross in, there was no pressure on that cross at all. Mm. Someone should have slid across, in my opinion, to defend that. But when you've got someone like Sam Kerr floating in your box, you can't be allowing those crosses yeah. just to come in. Mm. And so I think they, I don't know, I felt, felt like they were just a little bit maybe they gave them a bit too much respect. Yeah, I mean, it, I mean, it was good to see Sam, I'm like, good through gritted <laughs> teeth to see Sam Kerr yes. get on the score sheet. What did you, we, you think of her? Did, did we all manage to catch the game? I did. I, I feel like I just have to swallow all my words I said about Sam Kerr before. Because I've said like, <laughs> do you remember what I was like? Yeah, yeah. yeah I was like, um, I don't, I'm, I'm with the whole Sam Kerr thing. I still don't think they need her. I don't know, I, obviously, I think Sam Kerr's a great player and obviously like, was the top 100 out of the Guardians list, mm -hmm. so she's definitely someone to watch and will bring quality, but do they need her interesting as such? to see what happens. Right, it's, it's, I speak too much. Yeah, but without <laughs> her, to be fair, they're still a great team yeah, anyway. But I, yeah. I do see it now when everyone's like, oh, they just need someone to kind of help with the finishes and like, and she has been incredible since she started. Like, she gave two assists and she's now scored a goal, so she's brought value to every single game. So I do think she's incredible in that sense. But. I, Equally, I think it's just amazing. What about that goal from Sophie Ingle? Oh, yes. Rocket. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was trying to um, uh, do it 
in here earlier. I don't know if you saw. Oh, you guys went here. Yeah, it was a good effort. It was quite similar. Got got my leg up quite high. I'm not going to try and do it again. Almost. But that was. I mean, do we feel like that is goal of the season so far? Say contender, hundred percent. No, there were some yeah. good goals. Yeah. So imagine the opening goal from was it Kira Walsh or someone yeah. from the Man City mm. goal. That, but there, were, I think every week you see like really good goals. But yeah. that was obviously a really, I don't know, a worldy you would call it. But I think all the goals proper noy, proper noy. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what we've been trying to get that in. <laughs> no, but I think I don't know even the the one from Sam Kerr, like the cross and the header and Goreiton's goal was really good as well. I think I don't know Chelsea was really in a. Good mood to score, nice goals. Yeah, but there's, been, there's been loads of goals like that throughout the season. Yeah. Like early, I think early on, when Millie Bright did a cross to Beth mm. England. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. like that was amazing. And then like Lee Williams scored quite a few, and um, Kim Little she scored yeah. over at um, Tottenham. So there's loads of contenders, but yeah. I do think like each week is quite nice to see one's a good one. Yeah. And it's got the yeah. Didier Drogba approval, so you can't. Right, really say I that. saw him <laughs> tweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah like, like that. That's like the icing on the cake. Anyway, we'll move on from the top of the table down to the bottom. So Bristol nil, Liverpool won. Liverpool will be yeah. happy to get mm -hmm. the win. But I mean, it's, it's not looking good. Bristol have obviously made three new signings that you touched upon earlier. Do you think that realistically they will be able to, to stay in the FAWSL? There is some stuff within training that's going mm -hmm. on that's probably not as efficient as it should be. And Liverpool, as a as a club, regardless of you know how they perform, but as a big club, should not be in that position. They shouldn't no, be in the bottom no, table. Yeah. Yeah. They should have, they should be way above. And I feel like had that been, like, there's all there's love Twitter for all this nonsense that it comes up <laughs> with. Because now there's talk about um, Arsenal having to get rid of Joe because he's lost one game. But I feel uh -huh. like which is which is mad. <laughs> well, like, yeah, yeah, I know it's crazy. Stop but it. It's kinda like, <coughs> why are we not giving that same energy to like other teams when it's kind of like they've not won at all? So yeah. mm -hmm. not saying that it's Vicky's fault that Liverpool yeah, doing yeah. so badly, but something needs to be done about mm -hmm. Liverpool to kind of really shake some sense into them and realise how is your men's team pretty much running away with mm -hmm. the Premier League? Yeah. Well, like they're due to win in like April if they carry on mm -hmm. like this, mm -hmm. um, but your women's team are like struggling for points. So it is, I think there's a lot of other things going on in the background, which is kind of the result of what's going on. Yeah. But I, I don't know, I, I, I do feel a bit, um, I do think, I, I, I would have preferred a Bristol one because I do think something needs to give at Liverpool for them to kind of be Ooh, like... You think to yeah. make them take it more seriously? Yeah, 100%. So if I'd they do stay in the WSL then, in the FA WSL, what, what needs to happen as a club? They need what, to invest. What changes? Invest. Yeah. They need to invest. If you look at Man United, they came up and they're not going anywhere now. I think mm -hmm. we can safely say yeah, and like they're the going to stay. And Tottenham is yeah, exactly yeah, the same. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the key word in, in that whole scenario is like you can tell that they've invested in the team. And obviously we don't know numbers, but I feel like they've invested more than Liverpool has. And when Liverpool men's side are looking to win the title, you're like, you have to. And I think it's player belief. Like, I, I would think like for you've got to be able to attract players to come to your team. Like well, there yeah. was players yeah. who were leaving kind of Liverpool and we're going down to the championship to play at Manchester United. It's kind mm -hmm. of like, why would you go down to a part-time league? But I don't know, whatever the conversations are happening, that giving them enough belief to be like, uh -huh. no, we're really going to move forward and we're really going to push this team forward. And, and I think also, like, facilities, when you just give... I don't know how the facilities exactly are at Liverpool, yeah. but I think when you just know, for example, that gave me so much um, conviction as well when I came here because I knew the facilities at West Ham are great. You know, yeah. you have really nice pitches, you have a really good stuff around the team, you have yeah. medical stuff and everything is, is there, nice gym and everything is there and I think this also attracts players, it's not yeah. only, even when you can play on a nice pitch on the weekend, yeah, obviously yeah. we spoke about pitches as well, if they're good enough and if the standard is high enough for to play there in January time and yeah. not get postponed every single game due to water or something, mm -hmm. so I think everything together, like a whole package sometimes more worth than just money or mm -hmm. exactly. yeah, just winning something is sometimes you want to work in a professional environment as a player sometimes and I think a lot of teams like for example um, Everton has I think really good facilities this attracts players as well and well of a sudden they playing in the middle of the league not nothing to do with relegation something and get new players in as well from really high quality so Okay, so we are introducing a new game. I don't know why I'm singing oh. this week. <laughs> Basically, we're just going to test how, how much attention you've been paying <sighs> women's football this week. No pressure. Just this week. Just yeah. this week. Just, just this week. Yes, okay. just this just week. Just this I week, don't know. Right? I don't get a memo about a test. I just want to make sure. It's, just it's not a test. Week. It's fun. Anyway, <laughs> can I have a ball, please? Thank you, kind sir. I felt really nervous about catching that. Okay, so 
I'm going to ask a question. If you think you, you know the ready? answer, <laughs> yes, on the table, then you, you try What's and the grab the ball first. Does that look even? No, that look Are we doing grab? Or that much? looks even. Oh, I don't taken. know. We're doing grab. Yeah. yeah you the decide amongst the yourselves. Don't want no arguments. Okay. Oh, you ready? By the way, there's no prize. Oh, no. right. <laughs> oh. What a way to build it <laughs> up! <laughs> just go, just um, okay, question one. That was loud. Who became Chelsea's all-time top goal scorer in the WSL last weekend before the derby? Can you say it again? I didn't understand. <laughs> you speak way too fast. Who became yeah. Chelsea's all-time top G. goal scorer? Yes, she's so young. G, yes. Oh. Well That's done. right, no? Yeah. 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 Right, who scored yes. directly from a corner? Oh, in oh, the... Oh, jeez. No, no you've taken the ball now, honey. Yeah, no, 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 are you gonna Sorry. let me? Fit? We are gonna fall out. Have you noticed where she's placed the ball back? I'm just saying. But me, do you know what, monkey? All I'm hearing yeah. is excuses. <laughs> Mead Meyer is still the FAWSL top goal scorer with how many goals? She doesn't know. I know. She I know she has eight assists goals. and twelve goals. No, no put it down. you don't know that, then, do you? <laughs> well, how many strong, goals really? from this season or overall? Yeah. Um, this season. Eighteen. No. No, it's twelve. Um, that's, that's all I've got. My sources are telling me it's not twelve. Twenty-two. <laughs> No. No, no, no. This that's season? Somebody. That's too oh, high. No, that was like last season, I think. 14. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. 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 I knew it. Well, all in all, that was shocking. Um, cool. She told us the questions were easy. Yeah, I know. Someone's got hard, right? Yeah, oh, yeah, I won. It doesn't matter if they were easy. I won. Okay. Shocking. Well done, Fadumo. Oh, you win nothing. But do you know what? You can be really proud of yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Like anyway, moving on. So, on the <laughs> show, are we are you, are you still sulking? Okay. No, that's fine. I'm Should we give you a minute? Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Question number two. Oh, Question so this week we headed to Boreham Wood to chat to Kunjan, an Arsenal fan, whoop whoop, and a women's football photographer to find out how she got into it. My name is Kunjan Malde. Uh, I'm a sports photographer. I mainly cover WSL games, uh, women's football, uh, international games, went to the World Cup recently, and I mainly follow the Arsenal. I got into women's football two and a half years ago. I've always loved photography. One of my friends helped me get accreditation to the Arsenal women's games, and from there on, I've literally just been going to almost every single game, taking pictures at their games. Uh, helping the girls out with some photos for their social media uh, and uh, the last year I've been able to make it like my full-time professional job earning money off of it which I'm really happy about and honestly I think it's the best job in the world I love it uh, can't get enough my career highlight definitely has to be the Women's World Cup uh, in the summer 2019 uh, probably one of the best experiences going to France, uh, shooting games every other day, um, seeing some of the best players uh, on that stage, uh, covering the final as well was insane. Um, I met so many photographers that I've had links with online, like on social media, but I've never actually met and learned so much about them, learned some new skills from them. Um, yeah, definitely the World Cup. My favourite photo definitely has to be a Vivian Miedemar celebration when we played Chelsea last season and beat them 5-1 or 5-2 was it? And she celebrated and the passion she showed in that photo, she was like... And I don't think I've got a photo that good ever since, but yeah, totally in love with that photo. Some advice I'd give uh, to any aspiring photographers would be basically don't worry about what equipment you have and don't worry about shooting the big games first. Um, go out to a park, take some pictures of people playing football or people cycling. Um, use your basic DSLRs, it's fine. Like You'll build up into the equipment and literally just get your basics right, get all your exposure right and practice, literally keep practicing. Uh, one day we'll probably shoot like a World Cup final together. Right, so we welcome guests to the show. 
every week. So we thought, you know, a bit of healthy competition. We're going to pit you guys against each other and test out your skills. <coughs> yeah, this is called <laughs> the freestyle challenge. <laughs> okay, so this is how it works. You get one point for a keepy uppy. Okay, can you can you all count? Because I can't. One yeah. point for a keepy uppy. Two points for around the world. Three points for a double around the world. And four points for landing it on the back of your neck and then back oh, up. Wow. Yeah, uh, do you know what? I've seen you do that before, Julia. Yeah. So I'm expecting Maybe. big things. <laughs> now, you can go rogue. You can just shove in some extra little skills if you want, if you've got any up your sleeve. And then our lovely panel will add up those points separately. All right. Basically, Thank they're you. not letting me be in control of that. Yeah. Very <laughs> sad about. OK, who's going first? I have to, all right. Julia, I'm doing this. Can I have the ball, please? I do suck. Cheese! Yeah. <laughs> well, um, you can do it how you, you like, Julia. Um, okay. Okay. So she's got 30 seconds on the clock. She's well, taking this well seriously. <laughs> is it 30 seconds? Is, it, yeah. so, is someone yeah. timing us on have the clock? Have you been reading the script? <laughs> I have been reading the script. <laughs> Are you timing it? I can do a timer if you like. Will, it, will it be? Let me know the last 10 seconds. Okay, sure. That's so nice. She's trying to work out a timer. Yeah. Okay. Ready. Whenever you're ready. Okay. Go. Oh, she's gone tactical. She's gone keep it up. Oh. Oh. That's this count now, right? Okay, got completed. Oh. Am I meant to be counting? I'm so lost. Oh, <laughs> uh, you have 15 seconds. 15 seconds. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, I can't. There's no stuff I know. 10 seconds. It's been in the team. Oh, she went oh. away! Five okay. seconds. She's smashing it. Time. Jeez, uh, okay. Nice. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, no one can I don't know what you got. I don't know what you got, Julia. You got a lot. Count. You got a lot of points. I know, and uh, <laughs> caught the uh, mic as well, so yeah. So we think that you got 51 okay, points. Yes. Woo yes. But I'll we're going to, look, that. we'll watch it back. We'll do <laughs> it properly. We'll count <laughs> it all. Oh. It's very hard to keep up. Right, 51. Who wants to go next? I'll go next. <laughs> okay. Should have left Julia till last. <laughs> yeah, so I know. She makes she it I don't know. I've got high hopes for you, monkey. Are Ooh. you timing yourself? No. 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 I should wait. Yourself. If I do that, do I get double points? Yes. <laughs> right, monkey, are you ready? So. 30 Come seconds on, on the clock, please. Go! Both legs, well done. Both legs. Oh no! Yeah, I tried different strategies. I'm going to go for around the world, guys. <laughs> Two points. Oh. I saw, I saw, oh. I saw a Chelsea give this a go at Christmas. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh, oh come on. Oh, no. I'm going, going down to pressure it's now. It's hard because the ball so is a fled. Is that the excuse? Yes. Done. Oh. Time. Oh, mate. Time. Oh, right. What did Monkey get? Like t 10. 22-ish. Right. Oh, no. <laughs> 22-ish. He's shocking. We'll work uh, it out you... properly at some point. Oh. For Dumo, well, guys, actually, it is your moment. My moment. This is your moment. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> Just, just go, just give me some sassy I'm skills. I'm just concerned yeah. about the cameras here. I'm not concerned about They're fine. <laughs> Three, two, two, one, go! Well, it's not ready! Come on, <laughs> come on, <laughs> one cameraman <laughs> down! <laughs> give me a time. You ready? <laughs> I'm nervous. And off you go. Okay. Yay! Yay. Yay. I think that's a five on off. Hey! <laughs> 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 and, whoa. Oh, okay, all right, all right. <laughs> Do you know what? That's so hard. No, that's so I'm hard. knackered. I don't know how you guys actually play football. At least you're not cold anymore. <sighs> that's true. <laughs> anyway, um, I think I won that. I'm hearing through my earpiece <laughs> that doesn't exist. Yeah, um, I got 85.3 right. <laughs> points. Is that right? So thank you very much. Anyway, that is all we have time for. I, can't, I actually still can't breathe. Yeah, <laughs> take, your time. take your time. Take a moment. It's just too much <laughs> exercise, you know. I need to work on my skills. Um, Tell everyone how they can follow you on social media. Um, Fadumo underscore OO on both Instagram and Twitter. Lovely. Instagram is Simic Julia and Twitter is Yula Simic. I, uh, like <laughs> I, always get, I always get this wrong. Monkey underscore DJ on Twitter, I think. Monkey DJ on Instagram. <laughs> it's oh, all I, mean, I have no right. idea. You do this every week. Or, is it's it every week. Or the other it's way around. Learn, learn, it. Yeah. learn it at some point. Anyway, thank you so much. Thank You're you. Welcome. Been a pleasure as always. All right, not for you, monkey. No, I was not sure. Look, she just stood up. She just stood up. You're not like, coming oh. back. Anyway, <laughs> remember, guys, get involved. You can tweet us at Copper90. You can join the Facebook group. Football is.
football and you can also subscribe to Copper 90 Football. God, there are so many things so you football. can do. Anyway, we will see you guys next time. That's the tea. Woohoo!